Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. The SNP may well have done something for which they have no mandate, which was never on the, any of their prospectuses when you were voting for them, which, if put to the Scottish people, would have been rejected outright, and which may yet even prove to be illegal. They are selling off the family silver, quite literally selling off the assets of the nation without any kind of mandate from the people, without ever, ever putting that in their manifesto. They're doing so to try and hide the parlous, terrible state of the finances that they themselves have destroyed through 17 years of mismanagement. And they're now literally selling off bits of Scotland to anyone who wants to buy it, anyone in the world, to raise cash, to try and plug the holes. It is absolutely disastrous and you're going to lose out. And there's no recourse. Once they're sold, they're sold. What's given them the right to sell off Scotland piecemeal to just cover up their mistakes? Well, have a look at it, but it's got to be wrong. And surely yet again, another example of where Westminster must step in to protect the people of Scotland from the government of Scotland. Here goes. So SNP ministers sell off the family silver as they use £750 million wind bonanza to plug the budget gaps. But they're not selling off wind capacity. They're not selling off the electricity generated by the wind. They're not retaining ownership. They're selling off the actual plots. These plots, which should be for the people of Scotland, where they're putting these offshore wind generators and they're selling them and they can therefore never own them again because they don't own them anymore. They now belong to whichever foreign nation wants to buy this particular plot. And they can do whatever they like with it. Shona Robinson's spending plans for the next year continue to prove controversial with documents suggesting Scotland cash is being used to balance the books. The books that they have got so badly wrong with their continual overspending, with their continual waste, with their continual misunderstanding of how economics works. Uh, SNP ministers have been accused of selling the family silver. After it merged, they had used a £750 million fund built up from selling offshore wind plots to plug their budget gap. This is money raised for capital. This is rough. This is this is selling bits of Scotland off, not to do something with, but to fill the black hole of all the waste they've had. That money was earmarked for investment, and that investment will now not take place because mismanagement of accounts, mismanagement of finance, economic illiteracy. Uh, details buried in the documents of last week's budget show that £550 million of Scotland cash has been committed. Of that, 310 is for use in the current financial year alone, trying, of course, to plug those holes. And concerns are now being raised about the remainder of the fund, which was set up to reinvest in the energy sector, according to The Sun. The cash was generated through the sales of offshore sites to private firms. And they've raised that money and that money was meant to be reinvested. And what have they done with it? Paid off the credit card. The credit card that they ran up. This is the, the money that belongs to the people of Scotland. They're selling off bits of Scotland. And instead of using that money to benefit the people of Scotland, they're wasting it by, selling, by paying off their independence debts. This cannot possibly stand. This must not be allowed to be used that way. Uh, Scottish Conservative Energy spokesman Douglas Lumsden said, It is galling that the SNP have used this one-off windfall in an effort to plug the enormous black hole in their budget. It is like selling off the family silver to pay for the weekly food shop. It highlights their financial incompetence. And I'm going to suggest it's a misuse of funds. It's illegal. Because this was a one-off. The sale of Scotland, the sale of bits of Scotland should have benefited all Scots. Not just benefited 
independence. Because this billion odd pounds, this billion and a half black hole, can be summed up entirely by the spending on purely independence expenditure. And that, of course, is why they need the money. They need to show that, oh yes, look, we can be trusted, we're not in debt, we've balanced the budget. Yes, sure, people are going to die because we haven't got hospitals, but hey, we've got shiny embassies. Ms Robinson's budget called outrage when it, she unveiled it on Tuesday. It includes massive cuts to vital services, as well as a new tax ban that has raised concerns it will make it harder to attract talent to Scotland in certain roles, and already people are looking to leave. Scottish Lib Democrat Communities uh, spokesman Willie Rennie said, not only did the SNP sell our offshore wind rights on the cheap, but now they're raiding the funds that raised to fill in the enormous hole in their mismanaged public finances. This is supposed to be a fund for the Scotland's long-term benefit, not to cover up for the SNP's failings now. They are using it basically for party political means to make it look as though they are not a bunch of incompetent spendthrifts wasting public money on all the pointless bullshit that they're pushing for independence, which they can never get. It is unachievable and they know it. But they're still going to blow away three quarters of a billion pound of assets simply to fill in the hole they've dug. Good luck. That was your children's and your grandchildren's future investment fund. And it's gone. It's gone because the SNP care more about pushing for independence than they do for the people of Scotland. Labour MSP Sarah Boyack said, the country code states that you have to leave things better than you found them. Perhaps the SNP could take a lesson from this and invest in Scotland's future instead of pillaging our resources to fund their own disastrous budget. But then again, you've got a woman with 86 IQ running the finance of the country. What the hell do you expect? If morons are allowed to vote for morons and put the bigger morons in power, what kind of decisions are always going to be made? Ones like this. And is it any wonder Scotland is falling apart after 17 years of rule by moron? It's an idiocracy. No one with intelligence is ever allowed to make decisions in a modern Scotland. They must always be made by the most stupid people in society. The fact that most people who vote SNP are quite incapable of doing up their own shoelaces should be indicative of that. They're all morons and they vote for them. And this is what happens. Ministers are said to be using the funds to manage ongoing risks around managing the 23-24 budget position. Scotland was launched by Nicola Sturgeon in 2022 to much fanfare with the SNP administration claiming it will raise billions in the coming years. Billions that were supposed to be for inward investment, not for paying off the debts. A Scottish government spokesperson said, we've always said we'll invest much of this in our journey to net zero. And they haven't. They've invested it in paying off their mismanagement of the economy. So anything else that they say from that point is complete and utter bullshit. And none of it can be believed because it is the SNP and we know they're just full of it. They're full of lies and deflection. Nothing they say is ever, is ever true. None of it can ever be believed. I'm coming up. So once again, more hidden debt covered up, more shadiness, more snide, more sleekness. They cannot ever be open and honest. And they certainly didn't put that front and centre and said, hey, look, we brought this big fund and we're going to use this money here that we were earmarking for the future to spend on what we've already spent in the past uh, and has been shown to be a waste. You know, when we've wasted this and wasted that and wasted this. And we're not changing our ways. We're not closing those embassies. We're not, wait we're not stopping spending £8 million a month on spin doctors. We're doing none of that. We're just going to carry on. And so this one and a half billion that we're pissing away this time will be pissed away next year and the year after and the year after until eventually the whole of Scotland is just one burning field like the Somme. Filled with the dead and dying and the starving. Kids crying for mothers and everyone who can leaving the country by the quickest means possible. Scorched earth for whoever follows. It's the Scottish way apparently. But at least it's the SNP's way for Scotland. Oh, well, 
If that's who you keep voting for, what do you expect? I stop now. It's very sad. I think you do need a revolution. I think you need to go down there and force an election and get these people out. Down to the people of Scotland to do it, though. They've got to keep showing it. They've got to keep pushing for a new election. Or there just won't be a Scotland to save. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's a very depressing note, but uh, it's one I end on. Thanks very much for watching. Do keep safe. I will speak to you next time. Bye.